Hello and welcome to this short MD18 Candle Robot Operating System Startup Guide. In our previous videos, you've seen how to set up the hardware, run some script examples, and configure the actuators with MD2. Today we'd like to show you how to get started with our MD80 ROS node. In this tutorial we'll be running the same setup as before, two actuators with a candle device connected to the PC. The first crucial thing is to properly set up the ROS environment. Since it is out of the scope of this video, you will find appropriate links in the description below. In the next steps, we assume the ROS environment is already configured and you can easily build packages using Katkin in case you're using ROS1 and Colcon in case you're using ROS2. We'll be running ROS2 as default, but ROS commands will be shown on the screen as well. Our approach was that ROS node should be used only for control, not the setup. The setup can be performed either by using Python or C++ scripts or the MD tool. Let's go for a simple demo where we will add an AX8108 actuator to an update list, turn it on, set the position PID motion mode, change the default gains and perform a simple movement. First you should clone the ROS2 repository from our GitHub repo. When it's already in your local directory, you should invoke Colcon build command in order to build the package. Remember about calling source install setup bash after the build. Now we should be able to run the candle node. As we can see in the terminal window, the node launched successfully. The main principle is that when the candle node is launched, it sets up topics and services. You can either publish or subscribe to topics or call services to perform certain actions. We have prepared a shell script that will execute the ROS commands. During the execution, we will pause and describe each command. First we add a new MD80 actuator with ID equal to 300. Next we will change the motion mode to position PID mode. Now we change the default gains. Enable the drive. Publish new target position of 3.14 radians. Publish new target position of 1.57 radians. And in the end we can disable the drive. As you can see the ROS package allows you to control the drives using ROS services and topics. You can either use the terminal or prepare a script to interact with the actuators. If you'd like to read more about the MD80 controller and candle be sure to check out the manual, our GitHub repo and stay tuned for next videos. Goodbye.